Imagine the power grid has collapsed in the middle of a brutal winter night. The world outside your window is frozen and silent, and inside your home the temperature is dropping fast. The furnace won't run. The thermostat is dead. The circulation pump is silent. You wrap yourself in blankets, but the cold keeps creeping deeper into the walls. Now imagine there exists an old forgotten trick from the 1940s one that could keep your entire home warm with absolutely zero electricity. Not a generator. Not a battery. Not even a match once it's running. This isn't a myth. It has a real war era survival technique that helped families stay alive when the modern conveniences we rely on simply didn't exist. If you've never heard about this method before, keep watching, because once you understand it, you'll never look at home heating the same way again. During the 1940s, blackouts weren't rare events. Power grids were unstable, war shortages disrupted fuel supplies, and many rural areas didn't even have reliable electricity in the first place. Families couldn't depend on pumps or motors to move heat around their homes. They needed a system that worked in storms, in shortages, and even in total grid failure. So engineers created something so simple and so reliable that it seems almost impossible today. A heating system driven entirely by gravity and natural convection. No switches, no pump failures, no wires, just physics. The core of this warrior hack was a basement boiler and a series of huge cast iron radiators placed on the floors above it. When the fire in the boiler heated the water, the water naturally rose. When it cooled in the radiators, it naturally sank. There was no pump pushing or pulling anything. The house heated itself using the natural movement of hot and cold water. This meant that families could keep warm during massive blackouts, coal shortages, and storms that took out power for days or weeks. It was so reliable that entire neighborhoods were built around this idea. Architects planned the slope of every pipe, the height of every radiator, and the position of the boiler so the system would never stop circulating. Even in the dead of winter, even during power outages caused by war rationing or harsh storms, the system kept moving, kept heating, kept families alive. People who grew up with these systems talk about how the radiators kept rooms warm long after the fire burned out because the cast iron held heat like a massive thermal battery. And when disaster came when a blackout hit or when fuel delivery trucks were delayed, those homes had something that most modern houses dawn. T, a way to stay warm without electricity. If you're curious how this system actually worked and why it outperforms many modern setups and survival scenarios, you won't want to miss the next part. This is where the real engineering magic begins. To understand how the 1940s zero electricity radiator hack worked, Imagine watching water breathe. When water heats, it becomes lighter. When it cools, it becomes heavier. This simple rise and sink cycle is the heartbeat of the entire system. And once set in motion, it can keep going indefinitely with no mechanical assistance. The boiler sat in the basement, the lowest point in the home. As soon as the water inside warmed up, it rose through thick steel pipes that angled upward toward the radiators. These pipes were intentionally oversized so the water could glide effortlessly. Modern systems rely on pumps because their pipes are narrow. But these old gravity systems were built like highways, allowing water to move smoothly and naturally. The radiators were the unsung heroes. Cast iron was chosen because it absorbs and stores heat incredibly well. When hot water entered the radiator, the metal warmed slowly releasing heat into the room gradually and consistently. As the water cooled inside, it became denser and sank back down through return pipes to the boiler. This continuous loop of hot water rising and cold water sinking was so reliable that it didn't require a single moving part. It didn't matter if the power grid shut down or if the home had no electricity at all. The system would continue working as long as someone kept feeding the fire. This wasn't just convenient. It was life-saving. In extreme winter conditions, frozen pipes can destroy modern heating systems. But a gravity-fed system keeps water moving naturally, preventing freezing even in harsh climates. Homes in Canada, Eastern Europe, and the Northern United States used these systems for decades because they simply didn't fail.
Soldiers during World War II saw similar systems in field hospitals, bunkers, and rural houses where reliability mattered more than anything. When you look at a modern forced air or pump-driven hydronic system, it becomes obvious why gravity heat is superior during emergencies. Modern systems rely on motors, sensors, electricity, and pumps. If any of those fail, everything stops. With the old system, nothing stops until the fire stops. It's a design built for survival, not convenience. If you're rethinking this sounds like something you de want for an off-grid home or a long-term survival retreat, wait until you hear how people are recreating the same system today. Because although most modern homes don't use gravity circulation anymore, the principles still work and anyone with the right setup can bring this war-era survival trick back to life. In the next section, we'll talk about how today's survivalists and homesteaders are rebuilding gravity heating systems, often more efficiently than the original 1940s designs. In the modern world, everything depends on electricity. Heat, light, cooking, communication, Almost every comfort we rely on stops working the moment the grid goes dark. That's why survivalists and off-grid builders have rediscovered the gravity radiator system. It doesn't just work without electricity, it thrives without it. To recreate this 1940s hack today, the most important rule is simple. Your heat source must sit lower than your radiators. Whether it's a wood boiler, a water-jacketed wood stove, an outdoor furnace, or even a rocket mass heater. Elevation is everything. Once the water heats, it will rise. Once it cools, it will sink. That's the entire engine. Another crucial part of the system is the piping. Modern systems use thin pipes because pumps push the water forcefully, but a gravity system cannot push. It can only guide water. That's why off-grid builders use thick steel or copper pipes, often more than an inch wide, to recreate the natural flow. The slope of the pipes matters too. Even a small incline is enough to keep the system circulating for hours without help. The higher the radiators, the stronger the circulation, and the more consistent the heat. Many people today are rescuing old cast iron radiators from demolition sites and restoring them. These radiators may be nearly a century old, but they outperform most modern heating panels when paired with a gravity loop. Their thermal mass allows them to radiate heat long after the fire is burned down, and that is exactly the kind of reliability you need in a grid-down situation. Some builders even combine modern solar thermal collectors with gravity circulation in warm climates. Using sunlight to heat water without pumps or electricity, it's the same principle adapted for a new era. Safety is easier to manage today as well. Modern pressure relief valves, expansion tanks, and temperature regulators make these systems even more dependable than the original 1940s versions. And because there are no moving parts, maintenance is almost non-existent. Once installed correctly, a gravity heating system can operate for decades. As the world faces more extreme storms, more grid failures, and more uncertainty, this old war-era hack is becoming relevant again. The idea that you can heat your home using nothing but fire, water, and the laws of nature is incredibly powerful. It means independence. It means resilience. It means your family stays warm no matter what fails around you. And here's the strange part. Even though this system is 80 years old, Many people watching this video right now have radiators in their homes that could be converted into a gravity system with a few key modifications. Most people simply don't know it's possible, but now you do. The question is, what would your home look like if you could heat it with zero electricity, zero pumps, and almost zero maintenance? If you want to learn how to build one yourself or see diagrams of modern versions, stay tuned because we're just getting started.